We're seeing record high cases, deaths, and hospitalizations in the U.S. right now, and those numbers are climbing. How bad do you expect things to get over the next three or four months before the vaccine uh, is widely available? Well, sadly, the next uh, four to six months could be the worst of the epidemic. Uh, the IHME forecast shows uh, over 200,000 additional deaths. If we would uh, follow the rules in terms of wearing masks and not uh, mixing, uh, we could avoid a large percentage of those deaths. So in the near term, it's, it's bad news. You've been sounding the alarm on the threat posed by infectious diseases and pandemics for years. Even in your wildest dreams, did you think it would ever get this bad in the United States? No, I thought the United States would do a better job handling it. Uh, overall, when I did the forecast in 2015, I talked about uh, the deaths potentially being higher. So this virus could be more fatal uh, than it is. We didn't get the worst case. But the thing that uh, uh, surprised me is that the economic impact in the U.S. and around the world has been much greater than uh, the forecast that I made five years ago. You know, we should all look at what we have learned from this epidemic because there will be another epidemic coming. And whatever that administration is, you know, being smart about getting the testing up fast, allowing the CDC, who are the experts, uh, to give the message to the public, not being afraid of bad news uh, so that we get people ready. Uh, you know, that it's pretty clear uh, we're going to be smarter next time. I hope so. Uh, but <laughs> let's, let's talk about that pandemic in the future. Um, what do you think the Biden administration needs to do to prepare for it. Obviously, we were not prepared uh, for this one, at least not to the degree we needed to be. We need a team of experts, like 3,000 that are around the world working on infectious disease. When there's a hint of a pandemic, they would, uh, with their full skill sets, move over and focus on that. So better team of people available, better surveillance. The prescription for getting this right uh, as long as we remember how bad this was and we're willing uh, to pay, which will only be, you know, billions a year uh, to avoid, a, you know, trillions of dollar disaster. I think that roadmap's clear. And I uh, talked with the president-elect about that. And, uh, you know, I think our foundation will be part of that dialogue to make sure we don't blow it again.